Let's begin by taking a look at the reference art and then we'll build up the overall shape of our case. So we'll start with just a blank scene in Maya. Let's take a look at our uh, image. And so this is the asset that we're going to be building here. And it's a little bit more, we're going to be doing a little bit more work on a single piece of geometry versus in the last level where we built something that was made of a bunch of different pieces. Here we've got something where we're going to concentrate more on a single piece. We've got additional pieces that we'll be adding, uh, but this will give us an opportunity to kind of look at how we can think things through as far as the order that we need to do things, how to, to make sure to get the edges looking the way that we want. Um, and so forth. So this is kind of what we're going to be shooting for. Again, you don't have to make it exactly the same as this, but this is what we're going to be using to kind of follow along. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is bring this back. We want to figure out, okay, obviously the shape is going to be sort of a rectangular cube kind of shape, and then we can figure out where we want our edges. So just by looking at the indentions here, we can kind of get a good idea. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need six divisions or edges here um, to define you know, where we need to put these insets and that sort of thing. We also need a couple coming across here to be able to end those insets. All right, so let's go ahead and, and start this. So we'll go to create polygon primitive and let's just bring in a cube. All right, now we'll go into the creation node and let's go ahead and set its width up a little bit. And we can sort of eyeball this to get a, a good idea to begin with. And let's make it a little bit wider. Kind of pull it up on top of the grid here. So something like this. So if we do maybe 75 by 18 by 47, something close to that will be good. Now remember, we also wanted to have six edges coming across here. We can add those manually or we can just come in along the width. Two, three, four, five, six. So that gives us six edges. You can see that the subdivisions are set to seven. That's just because it's counting these subdivisions. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have those, they're all separated by uh, six edges. Okay, now they're not spaced the way that we'll eventually want them to be spaced, um, but we do have those edges in there. We can also take the subdivisions along the height and we can add a couple of subdivisions there. And then let's also add a few subdivisions coming along here. So we'll maybe add th uh, four subdivisions. That so gives us three lines. It just makes things nice and square. All right. So those are the values that I put in. If you want to put in slightly different values to make your case a little bit uh, differently shaped, that's perfectly fine to do. If we want to now tighten these edges up, one thing we can do is just to double click on these edges and shift double click and then I'll go to scale and I'm just going to kind of scale this down a little bit till it's the right width okay so something like that and then we need to sort of move these lines around a little bit to get the spacing that we want so let's take these lines in the center and let's scale those out a bit to get that sort of main opening there and we can take these on the outer side, pull these out a little bit, and then these as well. Kind of pull those out a bit. So maybe something like that. So that gives us a little bit more of a, a wider spacing in the middle. And again, just thinking ahead, we know we want those raised areas to be coming along these certain ridges. So kind of right along here. And so we want to just make sure that those edges are in there. We have those edges to be able to work with. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just scale this up just a bit. Give ourselves a little bit more geometry coming along this strip along the center. Okay. So once we've got our edges lined up, and that is, you know, we've just looked at where we're going to need to uh, have detail, and we put an edge there, basically. And with a case, it's pretty straightforward because we're working with kind of a rectangular um, shape. Okay? So we just need to make sure that we have edges in the right places. Then we need to make sure that we do the operations in the right order, let's say. So looking at this, you can see that these areas are raised up. 
So we could take those polygons and pull them out, or alternatively, we could take these polygons and push them in to create those insets. All right. And so let's go ahead in the next lesson and uh, take a look at creating that raised or lower detail, depending on how you look at it. So we'll go ahead and do that in the next lesson.